Hey, welcome back. I have a cool thing in here from Tinker Forest. The box was so big I had to take it out of here. But I have been wanting to replace my chunky old knife workstation. I don't even know what you call this. Tray? Service tray? Tool tray? I don't know. Um, I got it cheap on Amazon. It's great for sharpening and stuff, but it doesn't show super well. For the videos it has like Chinese writing on it and stuff so not the best look candidly and that is why I ordered this I can't remember I want to give credit right now but I can't remember who told me about Tinker Force it was either a channel viewer or someone I met on Facebook sorry whoever you are you're probably gonna enjoy this video because you told me about this but I can't remember who you are to give you a little bit of credit um, but thank you. Ooh, this is really nice. Immediately, what I notice is the traction on it is solid. So these little, uh, I don't know what these are, these little like rubber feet really keep it in place very nicely. So that's cool. My other one has like a lot more of these, um, but this felt like the right amount. My other one's also like, God, what's the material? I don't know if it's latex. Maybe it's latex or something. So it just always feels like it's getting dirty. This feels like it'll just stay a little nicer looking. And then they had some optional trays you can get to like hold your tools in here and stuff. Which I thought was great. Uh, a little divider here and let's see how it works. I don't know if this is the right size for my stuff. It doesn't look like it, but it could be kind of nice figure out what to do with that, or maybe I won't use it at all. Um, this is, I think, the extra large. There was also a four and a three, so there's some smaller versions. But this, to me, feels like, at a minimum, I'd want it to be this big. This already feels almost a little cramped. I wouldn't say, like, terribly cramped, but um, my other one is quite a bit bigger, and it is nice. I think the bigger, the better, to some degree. So that's probably the one thing I'd say here. This is kind of cool that you can take out one of these if you just want to do a single divider. You can do that, which I'll probably end up doing. I have a feeling this has got a little small here, it feels like, on these dividers. Um, so nothing too profound here. Um, I don't think there are magnets in here like my other one, but these walls are high enough. You don't really need it. Three little parts in there and stuff. Should be good to go. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is if it does get something spilled on it, it doesn't look super easy to clean. This almost looks like 3D printed or something, but I'm not sure if this cork could ever be like kind of replaced. Feels like maybe it could be taken out of there and replaced, but um, yeah, that's sort of the one thing I'd say about it. Pretty sure this is just 3D, 3D printed here. I think it ran me about, let me take a look, I actually probably have a receipt here. Ta -da! Tinker Force, get you a price on what I paid. <clears throat> 27 for the XL tray. Uh, this is a dual oil glue, oh, okay, so that's for oil and stuff, but I don't really have an oil that's that shape, but dual oil glue bit holder six bucks for this guy five bucks for that guy so um if you happen to have something that's that shape that's great my oil unfortunately is an oval so that won't work in there so i'll just throw that there or whatever but overall i like what i'm feeling feels like quality stuff and it looks a lot better on camera. I think Lefty EDC also uses this same brand. Um, so it's got to be good, right? I don't have too much more to say about it. I'll get some use on it and see what I think and maybe report back. But that's all for now. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.